Final preparations underway right now in Times Square as New York City prepares to welcome thousands of people for Sunday night's New Year's Eve celebration. I'd love to talk about our Times Square ball. It is the largest crystal ball in the world. It is six feet in diameter. It weighs nearly six tons, and it's clad in over 2,000 crystal triangles. It's this amazing illuminated ball that not only tells us the future, because 2024 is coming, but just brings joy and hope to everyone on New Year's Eve. NBC News correspondent Stephanie Gosk is posted up in Times Square with a report apparently brought to us this morning, Steph, by the good people at Coca-Cola. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. I'm expecting my residual check in the mail in just a couple of days. You know, you know it's getting close, though, when the Coca-Cola truck backs up because people who stand in those pens all day long here in Times Square need a little caffeine kick, and they'll be happy to know that it'll be here all ready for them. You know, they are getting ready here today. There's going to be that annual confetti test, 75 pounds of confetti. They do it every year, and, and here's a spoiler, Willie. It works every time. Uh, the, on New Year's Eve, there's actually going to be 3,000 pounds of confetti dropped on people. On a more serious note, the people that pile in here, up to a million of them, are going to see a pretty heavy security presence, like they always do. There'll be the security they see, the barricades, the counterterrorism units, sanitation trucks in the street. There will also be security they do not see, including plainclothes officers, cameras, and surveillance and police met at police headquarters yesterday they told the public there is no credible threat but the war in gaza has raised the, the threat level they have concerns about pro-palestinian protesters who might try to disrupt the event and more seriously lone wolf actors really yeah you know it's it's interesting to watch sort of step the evolution of this back to where it was from COVID, obviously in 2020 even 2021 there was some hesitation around it as vaccines were just coming in um it looks though does it from your point of view like this is the full times square new year's eve experience as it's always been back to where it was yeah absolutely and in fact you maybe even more people you know one of the things that i've noticed around our building with the tree is that you've had enormous crowds and and yes. people although we've been talking a lot about security people are not hesitating to visit new york city and there is still that enthusiasm and enjoy about this time of year that is pretty i have to say pretty infectious really yeah, it has been, hasn't it? It's been like Woodstock outside Rockefeller Center this year. The crowds yeah. certainly are back, and then yeah. some. NBC's Stephanie Gosk live for us in Times Square. Steph, Happy New Year to you. Thanks so much. We appreciate it. Bring, bringing you a Coke and a smile this morning, really. <laughs> Thank you.